Welcome to this Fix It Quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a duplicate manual entry on the bank feed in FreeAgent. If you'd like to have a look at my screen, um, this is the FreeAgent account for Sarah's Marketing Magic. That's a, a, a dummy account that we use. Uh, don't worry, this isn't anyone's confidential information. Um, Sarah has got a problem on her bank feed that we can help her with. Uh, the problem is that she was paid on the 2nd of November uh, for invoice 294 by Paston Electricals. And this has come through automatically from her bank on her bank feed that she's received this money. Unfortunately, down here uh, on the same date, there is a purple or manually added transaction, which is saying that the invoice was paid. Uh, this causes two problems. The first problem this causes is that if she was going to select this and try and find uh, the invoice that had been paid, even if I just type in uh, Paston for Paston Electricals, um, there isn't an overdue invoice uh, 294 because the payment down here has already matched it off and taken it off the overdue list. The second problem that she has is that her bank balance will be wrong uh, because those two uh, amounts coming into the bank that are this, actually the same one payment that she's received, it's actually showing her bank's got more money in it than it has. If you're using this to, to have a look at whether or not you're in an overdraft or you need to top up your funds, this can be really quite serious if, if your bank balance is incorrect. The way that we fix this is really straightforward. Uh, if we go into uh, the red item, always pick the red one, not the, not the purple one, um, and we go over here, there's an option called more options. This is brilliant. Every time you're not sure, you haven't got enough things that you can do, more options is usually the answer. If we select on more options, and if you just wait one second for my uh, internet connection, we come into uh, the more detailed screen. So at the top, you can see we're in the business current account, and here is the red item that we want to explain. Um, at the bottom, if you just ignore the middle bit for a moment, we would have the normal way that you would explain uh, the transaction. But what it has in the middle, and this is quite big because uh, this is a, a a dummy account, we have the selection where you can use an existing manual entry. So if we scroll down, we should be able to find the manual entry, and there it is on the 2nd of November, invoice uh, 294. So this is the purple entry that we can see on the bank feed. So all we need to do is double check that that one is the one that's selected. And all you do very simply is just uh, select use selected entry. Uh, it will wear away for uh, a second. And then as if by magic on the main bank feed, when it uploads, we can see that if you have a look down that the purple manual entry has gone, it's vanished. And what we have instead is a, a green entry, uh, one time, not, not duplicated anymore of the 2,180 pounds. What you'll also notice is now at the end of uh, the 2nd of November, the bank balance is as, as it should be, and it is showing that, that she's gone overdrawn. That's uh, all there is to it. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent-friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.